everybody, it's Vossman again, and another driving video, and uh, I thought I'd make another video with me driving, never know, might catch some silly road behaviour, but I'm just making these videos as well to, I try and, you know, work my way through some thoughts, a bit like a, like a diary type thing, you know, just, you know, you write your thoughts down in it. And that's basically what I'm doing it really, just trying to work my way through things. And I've got a decision to make and I don't know. I mean, it should be relatively easy and everybody I've spoken to about it has said, well, I don't even know understand what the problem is. You should just be doing it. And the thing is, is that I, uh, I need, I want to buy a new bike, I want to buy a new motorbike, and I had a look at the finances for it, see if I could do it, and, and I was looking at, uh, it's a brand new bike I want to buy, and I, I went and looked at it, so I looked at one that I liked, and I, you know, just out of interest I asked the sales guy, you know, what, what kind of deal is he doing on it at the moment, and he's actually selling it at a pre-increased price. But I know that um, that happens, so I know that the price that he's doing me on it is, is, very, is a very good deal on it anyway. It's about five, six hundred pounds cheaper than the list price should be. So I know that's pretty, you know, I'm saving money there anyway. But also, I've, I mean, I've got a bike at the moment and I've still got um, outstanding money on that. And the decision is whether, do I part X that and pay that against the new bike and end up with two finance agreements in two different places which would essentially be the same as me selling the bike that I've got now and just having one finance agreement in one place. I mean both are 0% interest at the moment so it really makes no, no difference. In fact the, the bike that I've got at the moment isn't actually on a finance deal, it's actually on a loan, not percent finance loan that I borrowed from work, so there isn't, you know, I don't have a problem with my like HP, it's not like a HP agreement or anything. So I haven't got that problem. And, you know, I checked with my insurance company and they said, yeah, that's not a problem, it's only going to cost you an extra £10 a month uh, on your instalments. So I was like, I was half expecting them to say, no, you're not even going to get covered on this bike, so don't even bother, but turns out no problem whatsoever, and I'm just now thinking, well, maybe I should just do it, I mean, why not, I mean, okay, I'll saddle myself with, um, you know, what is it, I mean, the bike you'll get for 7,800 quid, so I saddle myself with that kind of debt for three years, I don't have any other debts at all, this is, my bike is the only debt I have ever carried, so, you know, I'm actually not too badly off anyway, but at the moment I'm only, I've only have that £3,500 worth of debt, and then I'll go and, I'll go and you know, pretty much double it, just over, um, get another bike. A bike that I really want, I mean, the bike I've got at the moment is one that I got because it was easy to get hold of at the time, and, you know, I didn't really know what kind of bike I wanted at the time I bought it. I just bought a bike because I wanted to get riding. And it served me well, and I really enjoyed my bike. I really liked the bike I've got. But now that I've seen the bike that, you know, the new bike has come out that I like, and it's one, it's a bike that I know, know I really want. You know, it's one that, you know, I've looked at it and I thought, yes, now that is the one. And as it turns out, I never have the opportunity to do it. So why am I up and an and about doing it? Why don't I just do it? And I, I really don't know why, but I'm, being, I'm really cautious with money anyway. I don't like to get myself in debt. And I haven't had debt before my bike for a long time. It must have been a good five, six years before I'd actually had another debt. So, and you know, even saying that, saying that I don't have a debt, I don't have a lot of savings either. I have some savings, but I don't have a lot of savings. So. Money that I do have in savings, I would have to put against this bike, as this new bike as well. So I'm just, I just don't know. You know, it feels. Should I do it? You know, it, we're in the middle of a recession. 
do you do things in the middle of a recession? Do you know what I mean? Do you buy when, you know, in the middle of a recession, things should be a little bit cheaper anyway. If you have the opportunity, why not just do it? It's like, I don't know. But like, like everyone's saying, you know, you can afford to do it, you can do it, so why not do it? There's no real problem, there's no, there's no point waiting and, you know, worrying about what can happen tomorrow, you know, you know, you could, you might as well just go ahead and do it. And yeah, they're right, you know, and everyone's been telling me, like, you know, originally, like, the only thing that was stopping me from doing it was like, you know, well, I thought, you know, I'm going to have to sell my bike, and that means I'm going to be without a bike for the summer, maybe, for a little while. Depends how long it'll take me to buy this to sell this bike and I'm going to lose out on the deal that I've got at the moment because the only reason I can get the deal that I can on the bike at the moment is because it's in the shop and they bought it at a, a pre-increased sale price so and it's the only one they've got and it's it's in the right colour so oh, I don't know I don't even my heart is telling me yes but my head's saying well just hold on a minute just what if kind of thing I don't know I don't know what to do but like I say, everyone is saying, just go and do it. Life's for living, you know. It's, you know, if, at least go and put a, a deposit on the bike, and if you know you work out, a little, you know, at a week's time that you know you, you really can't do it, then at least you get your money back, and at least you've you got the bike. You know, you held the bike anyway. But I don't know. I really don't know. Hopefully, I mean, my heart's telling me. Hopefully, in in about in a, you know in a couple of weeks' time, I can be I can be making another video and like showing you the, my new bike. But who knows? Oh, I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm really, really, have, really struggling with this decision. And it's it's something I've been, I thought about. You know, thinking well, maybe I could get a new bike. I'd love to get a new bike. Can I do it? And then you know, a mate of mine, he's he's just recently gone out and got himself a new bike, and that's just spurred me on even more now. You know, to think to go, you know, just to go and have a look and test the water. And having tested the water, I actually surprised myself and actually realised that I actually can afford to do this. So it's not it's not beyond the realms of possibilities. But then you think, well, what if anything else comes up? Yeah, it might well do, but I do. Even if I do this, I've still got extra money as well, anyway. So, oh, I don't know. <sighs> what would you guys do? What would you guys do? It's driving me mental. I've done nothing but think about it all day as well. <laughs> I've rang the, the rang the guy in the shop. You know, I've spoken to him, and he's. He's good for it. I mean, obviously, he just wants me to you know, put the money down, obviously, but I need to get the money put together to do that first. Uh, I had to work with my boss as well because obviously, I owe my work the money for the bike that I've got at the moment. And he said, Well, it's not a problem, you know, we, you know, we can always sort something out for you. It's not. No real dramas, you know, you can sort it out so you pay it over when you can pay it or he said, well, at the end of the day, why don't you, since you've got this the loan you've got through us and Norton said, why don't you just part X the bike and you have a smaller uh, amount of finance against the, your new bike and you both of them because they're not percent finance agreements, why don't they they should just be for about the same which you were paying on the full price of the bike, so just go ahead and do it. Why not do it? <laughs> so, you know, when he put it like that, I was like, oh, yeah, I should just be doing it. Either way, you know. Uh, should be an easy decision to make, but it's a difficult decision to make. That's what I'm thinking. An easy, difficult decision. Anyway, that's it. I've had my little blur out, and uh, hopefully that'll make the life a bit easier when it comes to finally making the decision tomorrow because that's what I'm actually going to do tomorrow. I'm going to actually go down there and either put pen to paper or say no, not going to happen. So anyway, this is uh, Vossman for another driving video and um, hopefully I'll catch you next time with a brand new bike.